Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus today, putting in remembrance of your word and your covenant. Father God, you took a sworn oath and made a blood covenant with Abraham that you would bless him and his descendant, even to a thousand generation. That was an everlasting covenant. Father God, you said in your word that you ever be mindful of your covenant and that your covenant will you not break nor alter the things that is going out of your lips. Father God, you said in your word that you give me power to get well, that you may establish your covenant, which you swore unto our Father as it is to this day. Father God, I believe that the tithe is divine connected to the blessing that releases the blessing. Therefore, Father God, I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus that I'm a tithe, I'm a sore, and I'm a giver, and that I'm in a blood covered relationship with God. I'm also a child of God, a descendant of Abraham, heir and joint heir with my brother Jesus Christ, meaning everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to me also. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. That means I'm an heir of the world, for every beast of the forest is mine, and cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountain, and the wild beasts of the field is mine, the earth is mine. And great and goodly cities which I build not, and houses full of all good things which I feel not, vineyards and olive oil trees which I plant and not are mine, because Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law, being made a curse for me, for it is written, Curse everyone that hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on me through my faith and belief in Jesus Christ. I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm blessed spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, emotionally, and financially. God bless those who bless me, and he curse those who curse me. And blessed shall I be in the city, and blessed shall I be in the field. Blessed shall I be when I come in, and blessed shall I be when I go out. The Lord should make me the head and not the tail. I should be on top and not beneath. I should be the lender, not the borrower. I owe no man anything but the loving. The Lord should bless me greatly, and I should become great. God should give me flocks and herbs and silver and gold and men serve and maids serve and camels and donkeys. And as for you, Satan, I bind and rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I command that you loose my inheritance right now. I have a blood-bought right to possess the inheritance set aside for me by my heavenly Father. For Satan, you come not both to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that I might have life and that I might have it more abundantly. And above all things, that I may prosper and be in good health. Even as my soul prosper, and my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Therefore, I shall always remember the Lord my God, for he that give me power to get well, they may establish his covenant which he sworn to our Father as it is to this day. For the Lord my God, which teaches me to profit, will lead me in the way that I shall go. Though my beginning was small, yet my latter end should be greatly increased. And I should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruits in the season. My leaf also shall not weather, and where shall I do shall prosper. For the blessing of the Lord bring me riches and wealth without working hard for it. Therefore I decree and declare, wealth and riches shall be in my houses. The Lord my shepherd and I shall not want, because God give me richly all things to enjoy. The Lord shall increase me more and more, me and my children, and no good thing will he withhold from me. Because I walk uprightly, and God is able to make all grace abound toward me, that all we have all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work, because money answer all things. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for my sake he became poor, that through his poverty I might be rich. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, and I will give thee the treasure of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord of God, which called thee by the name, am the God of Israel. Ask of me, and I will give you nations for your inheritance, and the utmost parts of the earth as your possession. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. A good man leaving the inheritance to his children, children, wealth of the son, and laid up for the judge. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongs unto me, our recompense, said the Lord. I declare my gifts make room for me and bring me before great men. I will continually say, let the Lord be magnified, which has pledged the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue to speak of thy righteousness and thy praise all the day long. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, Jesus, Lord.